Today we're checking out the Transylvania Express trains. Traveling in the comfort of these classic first class carriages, as we head through the beautiful Transylvanian Alps scenery, taking us to Romania's capital city's railway station, Bucharest Gardu Nord. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm in Brasov, in the southern part of Romania's Transylvania region. I just arrived here by bus from the beautiful city center in Brasov. It's a shame that the beauty of what some might call Romania's prettiest town does not extend to its railway station. But let's head into the station and find our train down towards Bucharest. While the exterior isn't the best, I certainly like this artwork. And the announcement jingle certainly isn't bad either. Four separate train companies operate services from Brasov to Bucharest. So make sure to book your ticket at the right desk or right machine. We are traveling with CFR today, Romania's national railway operator, covering almost the entire country with rail services from north to south to east to west. Most also offer electronic ticket sales online these days and that's exactly what I've done today. Our train today is the 1320 to Bucharest North Railway Station, leaving from Platform 3. Platform 3 is accessed via the underpass found straight ahead from the main station building. There's no step-free access from this tunnel, so if you have troubles with the stairs, it looks like you have to use a ramp to get up to Platform 1 and then cross the tracks at the end of the platform using a level crossing. Might also be good to keep this in mind if you're traveling with lots of luggage. On the adjacent platform, we see one of CFR's stopper trains to Bucharest. We will overtake this later in our journey. And I have to say, the door closing safety procedures here on the Romanian railways seems a bit questionable. Our train starts here in Brasov, and the carriages are shunted to the platform 20 minutes before departure, direct from the sidings east of the station. The loco arrives shortly after, to be attached to the carriages just pulled in by the shunter. They do this multiple times a day here on the Romanian railways, so it's quite an efficient process. And that's our CFR class 41 ready for departure. The earliest locomotives were built from 1967 onwards in Romania based on a Swedish design from the company ASEA and are capable of 160 km power. Right, let's head on board the train. As with the far majority of trains in Romania, there's no step free access. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's possible to book assistance to board the train on the Romanian railways. Each ticket does come with a seat reservation, however, it seems like nobody really cares about these in Romania, so I just went for one of the solo seats. And shortly after, we depart Brasov bound for Bucharest. I arrived to Brasov earlier on Denmark's failed flagship high speed train that has now ended up in Romania. Why not check out my video on their troubled history on said journey, and as a bonus, they are some of the very few trains in Romania with a low floor section. Video is linked in the top right hand corner. And now that we are on our way, it's time to check out today's route map. We are on board train R3004 from Brasov to Bucharest, which makes 10 intermediate stops in smaller towns, which I'm gonna spare you from my horrible pronunciations of. We are scheduled to arrive in Bucharest after 2 hours and 42 minutes, where the train also detaches some through coaches to Constanza. The train covers the distance of 166 km, which gives the train an average speed of 61 km per hour. As we depart Brasov, we can almost immediately see the Transylvanian Alps or the South Carpathian Mountains, as they are also known as. But man, these windows are dirty. 
But at least there's one good thing about being on a local hall train today then. We can go all the way to the back of the train at the end carriage window. For some pretty amazing views of the mountains surrounding us. And some of the other windows down in the back carriage were also slightly cleaner. We are making our way down towards Padil at around 50 km per hour. These mountainous lines are certainly not fast, but at least they offer great views. But as much fun as it is to look out the back window, I gotta show you the rest of the train. At the back is where you will find second class. These looks to be newly refurbished carriages and both feature relatively modern seats with power outlets and small tables. The seats are exclusively laid out in base of 4, which seems like a bit of a missed opportunity for a refurbishment not to add some airline style seats. But I guess Romanians like to talk to strangers a bit more than us Nordic people do. By the vestibule doors you will also find some luggage storage racks. Out in the vestibule is also where you will find the toilet. But let's head on to the next carriage. This is actually the first class carriage, so let's check out the toilet in this one. It's definitely old school to say at least, but there was a little bath soap provided. To the right is where you will find the toilet itself. It's one of those old school ones that dispenses right onto the tracks. There's also some toilet paper. Let's see if the sink works. It does. It's functional, but it's not very clean and it's very old school. You can do better CFR. Let's take a proper look at the first class carriage. As you can see, there's both luggage storage at the end of the carriage. It's laid out in a 2 plus 1 configuration, varying between base of 4 and airline style seating, as you would expect. It looks like these trains also used to have an onboard bar, but it's not used on this service at least. I'm guessing it might have been open if I was on an intercity service rather than a regional train. The train only had refurbished second class carriages on board, so why don't we go back and do this seat review. Here you will find a footrest. As well as this large table that pulls up like this. Some kind of weird drinks, phone holder thing. I don't really know what that is for. Maybe you know, leave a comment. Located between the windows you might find a power outlet, but these are not for every seat. The seats themselves are well padded, very comfortable and very plush. Basically like an armchair at home. Big thumbs up from here. It seemed like there were some single track operations going on. As at quite a few of the intermediate stations, other trains were awaiting our arrival before they continued. In Ployest West we pick up a 7 minute delay, in order for the very delayed Dasher sleeper from Vienna running around 60 minutes late to overtake us. I'll have a video on the sleeper from Chisinau to Bucharest coming out in the future, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that when it releases. For the remainder of the journey towards Bucharest we pick up the speed a bit. The terrain has gone mostly flat and the weather is very grey and dull now. Not helped by the fact the windows are so dirty. The final part of our journey is traversed at the higher speeds as the southern part of the line allows for speeds of up to 140km per hour instead of the 50-60 we were doing in the mountains. And shortly afterwards we are approaching into Bucharest North Railway Station. As you can see here, the line is quite busy, with a locomotive shunting some wagons ready for another service, as well as we are overtaking a local train. And I guess we can talk about tickets now. I paid 47.75 Romanian lei for this journey, booked online a few days in advance, on the CFR website. This price includes a nominal discount for booking online in advance, so expect to pay slightly more if you choose to buy on board or at the station. It's also possible to purchase tickets in the CFR app, available for both Android and iOS. And here we are arriving into the railway station at Bucharest, with a delay of about 8 minutes. I have to say I found this journey excellent value, especially considering the tiny delay compared to what otherwise seems to be a railway prone to delays. I can't really fault CFR for much, the trains were slightly dated, but for the small price they are asking, I think it somewhat makes up for it. But please, make sure to watch the carriages a bit more often. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I try to upload most Sundays, but with varying degrees of success. You can also follow me on Twitter, at IntercitySimon. I normally post live for my travels on there, 
so it gives a good indication of what videos might be coming in the future. I was off to Israel after taking this train, so why not watch one of my videos from there? Thanks for watching.